Hello, my dear viewers. Welcome to this reading. This is all about your love life. And this is all for the fire energies, such as Aries, for all Aries, all Leo, and all Sagittarians. And it's all about your love life, just about love, rom romance, relationships, where you're at with your person, where you're heading with a new person, and everything that you need to know about your love life and relationships. My dear viewers, this is for the time, the week of April 6th to the 13th, 2024, and it's for every fire energy, everyone that has fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Welcome, my dear viewers, and let us begin. We're going to start with me explaining um, the nine messages that are um, closed. These messages, I've uh, put them down, like upside down, on deliberately so that you can make it personal and ask something that you've been pondering about and you want to know. This is shaking as I'm moving my chair. Bear with me. I'll just move it a little bit like this, perhaps. There we go. Much better. So, my dear viewers, as I was saying, um, to make it your own. So, for example, if you want to know about a person, what they're thinking, your person, or are they going to call me, or will they think about this, and what will what what are, what are they thinking about, in, or in, in this reference, and you can mix and match, choose whatever you want, and get personal and direct answers. Okay, my dear viewers, and now let us begin. So I'll open up everything, and then I'll start doing the tarot. Now, starting with the first one here. If you're not ready, put me on pause. Put your questions down. And um, we'll start within a moment. Starting with the first one. The me this, these messages are for all, for everyone that has fire energy, including me. Instinct. Something is telling you something. There is something within you feeling as though there's someone else or there is something or there is another person and your instinct is right. So pay attention to your instinct. Just uplift this a little bit more. Here we go. That's better. Now, let's have a look at this one. It says, karmic ties. I'm struggling with codependency. I'm afraid to let go of my old coping uh, mechanism. So there is someone that is sort of uh, feeling a little bit um, doubtful and finding it hard to let go. Uh, so they might be attached to something. This could be connected to the Chinese year of the ox, somebody born in, somebody that might be born in February, which could be Pisces or Aquarius. Number two is they also connected to this person. It could be within two, you'll hear something about this or you'll hear from this person, but they do seem to have a, an issue of letting go. It's not easy for them to let go. Maybe that's why your instinct is saying there is something. Okay, let's have a look at this one. It says a compass. Somebody's lost their compass. They don't know where they're at. They're, at. they're in limbo. Um, it says here discovering a life path or discovering what is coming next. Seeking the truth and the direction. You, you lost, somebody's lost their direction. That's what the compass is all about. And um, finding your way finally. Knowing where you're going and making a plan. So you are going to be exploring your options. I do feel like you will be successful. Within three weeks, I'd say something big is going to happen. Um, to let you know where you are in your partnerships. Chinese Year of the Ox again, twice. Chinese Year of the Rabbit here. And we've got three weeks from now. Three weeks from now. And on the 22nd. It could be 22nd of next month. Or it could be 22nd of April, possibly. Now, let's have a look at this one. And it says insecurity. Feeling insecure. Feeling that, um, you know, you're... You're not loved enough or you're not cared for enough or you're not regarded and you don't feel happy about things. And maybe that's why your instinct keeps telling you that. But maybe because of your instinct letting you know there is someone else that could be the reason that you're feeling insecure. Sometimes relationships make you feel insecure, make us all feel insecure when we're not sure what's going on or when there is somebody else involved. It says the element of water. So there is a water energy. If you are a water energy, if you have water energy uh, within you or your partner, your person might have a water energy. This is about your know, intuition. Again, instinct, intuition, trying to tell you something. You will heal from everything that's happening around you without a doubt. There is an emotional matter where it's leaving you in a limbo that's why again we've got the word compass like we had compass we've got compass again so there is a situation that's very sensitive and it's making you feel as though you're not um you're feeling very sensitive uh you're feeling as though there is something not right and at the same time it's like you're half half you're not sure uh things are going well 
there's a reason why things are happening to take you to a better place that's number one and the water element here is we're talking about scorpio cancer pisces which brings me to the star signs i'm going to get that out soon follow your emotions follow your instincts and you should be there is there any numbers we've got five so in this year and may is going to help you big time we've got double five there people are born on the fifth of the month um this is for you and uh, if you're dealing with someone that is born on the fifth of the month chinese year of the dragon here very strong and may big time may people born in may are, are gemini and uh, taurus just in case you want to know and number five for, for timing may or five weeks from now which is again may this other one says here it's uh, patterns now it says here i want to let my guard down with you but fear makes me lash out in self-defense so there is somebody wanting to make um, a move, but again, self-defense, fear, security, insecurity, rather, not security, in insecurity. And this is um, about freedom, being free from being uh, insecure, freedom of uh, speech, freedom of wanting to do things like being able to do uh, things and it's about freedom and spirituality spiritual growth is going to help big time i feel like uh, july is going to play a big role in this one week from now to one week there is going to be some some talk about freedom and you'll get the gist of what's happening here maybe that's why you're being defensive because you are a little bit um concerned about what you are going to be um hearing or um finding out perhaps now i'm going to find out uh, i'm going to take four to five star signs that unites you all that you are connected with or dealing with or somebody that's coming in your life uh, for all of you aries leo sagittarius so up to four wow we've got the first one venus yes venus the ruler of taurus and libra so we've got taurus libra here let's have a look further i'm just going to put this up so we can have more room yeah put this one up here okay venus let's see so Libra and Taurus is uniting, like you might be united, you you are all united with these signs. So we're talking about Libra and Taurus. Let's see further. Wow, water energy has come up. The water energy, we're talking Scorpio. So we've also got Scorpio here. Let's have a look at further. And this is pushing itself out, Pisces. Pisces, so that's two water energies. We've got the element of water, as you can see here. So let's have a look. One more. Yes, one more came out. And Pisces. Wow. Pisces doubled up. Very interesting. So that means you guys are all, somehow all of us are, united, connected to Pisces. Interesting. I might take one more, actually. Just one more. One more. For Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yes, there is. I had a feeling there'll be one more. Okay, so we've got Mercury, Earth. This is the ruler of Gemini. And this is the rule of Virgo, Virgo, Earth energy, Gemini, air energy. Okay, so that also um, connects well. Now that we've discovered all this, I just realized, my dear viewers, wait a minute, this is, my ring is getting caught in my hair, so I'm just going to remove this ring. Um, I realized that I didn't do these three. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Starting with this one, glasses on, so I can read it well. Um, here, here we go. It says, I wonder if you are happy without me. I wonder if you're happy without me. That means there is someone, a relationship, like you've left someone behind and you've separated and, and you're wondering if they're happy without you. Okay. And then we'll take this one here. And it says, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. That is really sad. And then we have tiny charms. Wow. Tiny charms. This is like tiny victories. 21 connected Chinese year of the tiger, the ox, and the rat. It is connected to three weeks from now, starting um, starting from the 21st of April. You will start seeing tiny victories here and there, and you are going to be feeling more hopeful for the future. So that's that one. Okay, now that we've established all this, let's have a look at everything else we need to know. I'm going to put this one over here and then see what the sacred forest wants to tell us all the truth and we have love wow love i haven't seen this card in ages wild rose love love is coming and i see freedom it comes after you free yourself from something i'm seeing it um, develop uh, very quickly within april or perhaps at the end of april from april to july let's say and i'm seeing that um 
there's freedom there's uh, someone wonderful like very it's it'll start as friendship and then it's just gonna get wild and very romantic beautiful so we've got love here excellent now let's have a look at the tarot card and see what you need to know what are important factors four important factors major important factors for aries leo sagittarius wow We've got a lot of money coming your way. A lot of money. This is like a life of wealth and happiness. It could be you're meeting somebody very wealthy, but a lot of money is coming for sure. The next one, oh my God, money again. Unexpected large amount of money. This could be inheritance. Somebody could be leaving you some money. So now, emotional fulfillment and water energy. Do you see this water energy <laughs> that we um, keep getting? Water energy. Have a look at that. The element of water. And that means you are all... Each and every one of us, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, me, I am Sagittarius Leo, so that you know, uh, are all united in dealing with someone or someone wonderful coming into our life who is a water energy. Remember that, okay? So we've got Scorpio and double Pisces, Pisces being the strongest for the majority. Element of water, emotional fulfillment coming, or some of you could be grieving the loss of someone uh, and wondering if they are, you know, um, thinking about you, are they doing well without you? So we're dealing with water energy. That's the most important factor that I'd like to mention here. Scorpio, Pisces, water energies. Have a look at that. That's amazing, isn't it? To be this specific, it's incredible. All right, so um, that's the other one here. I'll put it over here. And the water energies, we'll put them over there. Okay, so now we have one more to go. A new beginning. A new love might ignite some magical uh, power of something wonderful igniting. It could be a new love with someone. Okay, so that's that one. Uh, we go to the next one. There's three more from this deck. Let's have a look. Three more messages. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. From April 6th to the 13th. Let's have a look. Yes, there is an end of a chapter. As you can see, that's why it's saying here. You don't know how hard it was for me to let you go. So there is something that's reaching an impasse. So there is a situation where it has ended. And that's why you are limbo and not knowing where you stand. Um, or some of, it, some of it like could be that you could be in the process of knowing that something is ending. But it is has reached an impasse, a relationship. The truth is setting you free from this or setting someone, the relationship coming to an end. Let's have a look at another one here. And we've got why. Now we've got the reason why. We've got the two of swords. And then we've got the Two of Cups. A soulmate is coming. Someone wonderful is coming in your life from your past lives and you're uniting with someone that is going to be effortless. They're going to be exactly what you want. You share the same level of thinking. You share the same interests. You share the same path, wanting the same thing. So a soulmate on their way. Wow, that is amazing. And finally, I'll take one more. And it says the Two of Wands, you're moving, you're relocating. Thinking of where to go, you're moving to a better place, you're relocating, and it's going to be spectacular, you're going to be loving it. And that's the end of that. Okay. Now, again, you know what's amazing? Underneath this was for the Four of Pentacles. This again. So there is an inheritance of some sort. You see that? The Four of Pentacles twice. Uh, there is unexpected money, money coming to you. Maybe that's what's going to help you to relocate, possibly, to be able to move. Okay, so now that we've established all this, let's see what else you need to know before I clarify. We're going to take three. Oh, that's too many. Bear with me. We want three messages. Okay, we've got the first one. Um, three we need. The Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, this one has come up twice. Let's see. So there are some differences um, in this new relationship. Perhaps the new relationship that you'll be dealing with. I just dropped my glasses, my dear. You will just bear with me. I just picked them up. They're not coming. Okay. Here we go. Now. Okay, they went a bit too far. Now they're finally here. Okay. So, as I was saying, in regard to this card here, this 
came out too. Uh, this is to do with differences, religious factors. This could be about um, your love life being influenced by particular religious upbringing or spiritual path. So this shows to me that whether it's this relationship that ended, but I don't think it is. I feel like this new one that's coming, this could be to do with your past life, someone that you're connected with, uh, and you might be in, your relationship might be influenced by religious. That means you could be going to a spiritual church or a spiritual temple or somewhere and meeting this person. Your upbringing, and it might be something that unites you you're from the same culture, from the same background, from the same something. Uh, some sort of uh, belief maybe you know your beliefs so uh, i feel like this is what's gonna unite you the other factor here it says let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others that's when you are going through the uh, the stress of uh, you know the sadness and the grief of losing uh, losing a relationship and moving away from that that's where this is happening where let your friends be around your friends don't leave yourself alone and thinking and being worried it says a heart to heart conversation honest honestly discussing your feelings with each other is going to take you to the next level uh, for those of you who are in a relationship the truth is going to come out and you finally your eyes are open and you see the truth that's why you're leaving uh, leaving a situation or the situation will end up coming to an end and a heart to heart conversation is also for those of you who are starting with someone new and the more you talk to each other the more you find out that bits and pieces of each other that there is something magical that unites you so I feel like uh, it shows to me that there is something destined to take place without a doubt and this something is going to take you to the next level uh, this is going to be a magnificent relationship and I feel like um, the more you discuss things, the more you'll realize that this is the one. This is the one. And you'll understand why the universe freed you from the previous relationship because you, because you were destined to be with someone from your past life who is on the same level as you, destined to do the same things together, moving towards each other and working hand in hand to build something incredible together. So everything happens for a reason. That's what this is trying to tell me, actually. Everything happens for a reason. And this person could be a water energy. Remember that, possibly. Or they could be uh, earth energy because we have two earth energies here. This is really amazing. I'll tell you what it is. We've got two earth energies. We've got Taurus and we've got Virgo. We've got a Taurus that has Libra in them. We have a, a Virgo that has Gemini in them. So remember that. But they're both earth energy, Taurus and Virgo. Earth energy. Earth is something wonderful for you. You need earth to thrive, my dear Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. You are fire. You need earth to give you foundation. And from that foundation, you thrive, expand and move forward. And that's why we've got this here. Um, fire grows with earth. The more you have earth, the more you meet someone with earth in them, you thrive and grow and expand. And that's what's happening. That's what's coming. I feel like it is going to be someone spectacular, someone wonderful. And the more you spend time together, the more you talk to each other, the more you'll realize that this is, this is the one. This is finally the one. And then you will understand why that other relationship didn't go through because you were on different levels, different paths. So, or you might have reached to a level where there was nothing more that could be done. Uh, it's an impasse, which means there was nothing more that could be done. Okay. So now we move on to the next level, which is a message. Let's see what messages are here for everyone. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. Oh. Okay, so there is one. It says power. You instinctively, instinctively, with your instincts, you instinctively know what is right for you. And you have the power to, stay, to say no or to walk away at any time. So you know already. You already know deep inside of your heart, you know this. the truth is that this situation is no longer working. And... Deep inside, you know you can walk away from it. Maybe it's very hard because you're very connected to this person. You're so connected to your person that it's very hard for you to let go and leave. But ultimately, the truth is going to let you see further into what the best course of action is. And I feel like ultimately you will be leaving because I do see the two of sorts turning to be the two of wands, which means relocation, relocating, moving. 
and all this is happening so that you can finally meet the one that's why your instinct is telling you this is over you don't have to think about it anymore it's like you're going to meet someone spectacular prepare for it but you're so immersed in the relationship that you're in um you're so deeply there's so much that you've invested it's so hard for you to listen to your instinct and to your higher self so the universe will intervene and slowly get you to that next level because you are deter you are this this is what they're trying to tell you you are destined for love you are destined for love your instinct is trying to tell you that there is love there's someone else there is someone else you've got to know that somebody else is coming you are destined for love so you need to know that you are destined for true love and the f the sooner you find that out the sooner you accept that the faster you will be uniting with your soulmate because at the end of the day it's only a soulmate that you will last with and love and heal together and love effortlessly without the effort of conflict and constantly battling it becomes a very smooth sailing when you are with someone from your past life so this love is going to be imminent it's going to be spectacular i feel like you are going to find yourself in this person you are going to find everything you've always wanted in this person and finally you are going to be free and happy and know that this is for real this is forever you will know this is forever ultimately you will find that you'll find the truth that this is the only way to go the only person that you can be with okay time will tell of course you will see um, now that we established all this, let me start clarifying the most important factors. We will start. Don't forget, we've got uh, earth energy, which is your soulmate, and so is water energy. So if you get a water energy and earth, you will be laughing. Like if there is, say, for example, a Scorpio with um, um, Libra, Scorpio with Libra, Taurus, fantastic. If you have Virgo, if you go with Virgo, with Gemini, and maybe a water energy Scorpio, you will love it. So it all depends. Now let's start with the main thing, which you are destined for water energy. I can see it here very strong. You see the water energy? It, or you, you could be leaving a water energy because it's sitting next, next to this. So there is a possibility that you might be leaving a water energy. So I won't talk about this one. Let's find out. Let's see what this Queen of Cups is all about. Too many cards. We need just... They keep falling. Okay, now I've got to take this. Okay. So it shows that you are leaving. Wow. You are leaving this situation. And you know what's amazing? It's shocking because I've got these two cards here. Which shows to me the Mercury. Gemini. The ruler of Gemini. And the ruler of uh, Virgo. Someone that is born Virgo. Gemini. Somebody that's born Gemini with Virgo. Virgo with Gemini. Um, could be the one that you're dealing with and leaving a water energy. And you could be leaving Pisces, actually. Very strong because that's doubled up. Very strong here. Uh, and I feel like there is this is all happening because of this. You're leaving um, a water energy and um, ultimately you are going to start fresh. Now, this has two meanings. Another meaning, and I'll just uh, show you something here. Bear with me. As you can see, this is doubled up. So a new beginning that's going to ignite and it's going to be spectacular. Uh, before I continue with this, I want to tell you about this. This is also the possibility of air and earth. We've got Taurus Libra. This could be the Taurus Libra we were talking about. Venus is the ruler of Taurus and Libra. Earth and air. Earth and air. So this could be igniting. Something magnificent could be igniting. And this could be... Uh, a relationship made in heaven because you will go exceptionally well with earth they might have fire in them also fire is you my dear aries my dear leo my dear sagittarius your fire energy so they will they might have fire energy in them and they could have earth and air which is which tells you could be um libra with taurus and you will adore that because they're sensual they're loving they'll give you um You'll be grounded with them. You can thrive together, work towards the same, uh, the same, uh, you know, future thinking. You think alike. You, you're so much alike in so many ways. And you um, find yourself, your generation, your home with this person. So we're talking about something magnificent here. Venus uh, with a new beginning, someone wonderful. This is the clue about the person, their air and earth. They could be very strong Taurus with Libra for the majority. And then, of course, uh, it could be that they could also be um, 
Virgo, that is also possible. Say Virgo with air because Virgo is earth energy and so is Gemini, is air energy. It's amazing. Gemini is air energy and Mercury is the ruler of Gemini and Mercury is also Virgo, the earth energy. So it could be either one. But the fact, the, what I love about this, it's actually showing uh, the combination and it's or there could be someone new coming into your life which would be this new beginning with someone that is earth and air and you've got the choice it could be either gemini virgo that's mercury or what we had before venus which was taurus and libra so this is what i see for you and that's that's incredible two earth and so much water okay so that explains the water energy here that you're leaving behind and starting fresh and the reason why you're leaving and now we're moving forward to the next level. Let's have a look at the 10 of wealth. Let's see why that money is relevant in this reading. Why did it come through? It came through because it's going to be part of your wishes come true. It's happening for you, my dear um, fire energy. It's because this is you. You are in need of this money to be empowered, to take action, to be able to be more fulfilled. Maybe there's debts. Maybe there are situations where money or business uh, to, to work with. But this is part of your wish wishes. That's why the 10 of wealth came um, at a time when it wasn't time it's just showing you timing it's when you get this wealth coming to you and it's part of your wishes to be able to move to the next level wow okay now let's move forward to i was looking at the two of swords and i saw the hermit contemplating and asking why this happened let's have a look at the two of swords um a relationship that or a relation yeah, a situation that's come to a, an ending you are going to be empowered and you've got choices coming You've got to choose well with a lot of um, depth, but you don't have to worry too much because you've got the two of cups. So you are going to meet your soulmate. You don't have to worry about, uh, you know, analyzing the truth from the untruth when you're dealing with new people. You are going to be empowered big time with the magician. So it is uh, coming to an end. And the reason it's coming to an end also is because uh, there are other emotional choices. And this person, your person might be either you or your person might be looking at a better choice. Maybe you're not um, you're not so much suited, or, or you're not on the same level uh, of life of what you want. Everybody wants a different thing, so that could be another reason. Let's have a look at the two of wands. Let's see what the two of wands is all about. Relocating. Okay, already you're torn whether you should stay or go. You're in between with the two of pentacles. So it shows to me ultimately that money, this money is going to help big time because you are going to be moving due to money and you are going to be living a life of luxury and abundance. It's just the two of wands just shows that uh, perhaps you're not able to move yet until money comes, but you are ultimately going to move and move to a beautiful place and a beautiful position in life because a lot of money is coming. Just when you're torn whether you should go and stay and you want to, you, you don't, you know, you don't want to sort of, you might, you know, you might have a house together that you might have to divide. There might be a lot of matters, a little bit of patience, and you are going to get there. Just a little bit of patience. That's all. Now, my dear viewers, let's see, my dear Aries, my dear Leo, and Sagittarius. Let's have a look at this new beginning and see what is this incredible new beginning going to bring you. And other than the soulmate, what else could it be? What else could it bring? And I have a feeling like it's going to be uh, bringing you, of course, an amazing relationship. This one here, an incredible relationship. But let's just um, have a look and see how and what else and in what situation, what else you need. we need to know about this new beginning what will it ignite okay so um let's have a look at this okay so wow so we've got the seven of swords the ace of wands we're looking at all right oh my god taking action money is going to be the that's why the 10 of wealth keeps coming money is going to be the reason you'll be able to take action otherwise you're stuck you're stuck in this situation, I think. I think it could be to do with a house. You might be stuck. Anyhow, uh, the, re the, the main thing that we have while I was looking at this new beginning as to when, it says when you come to terms with that you have to leave. The truth is going to make you leave a situation, even though you are fighting not to leave because, you know, you, this could be a, a situation where you're so deeply in love with this person. You've invested so much and you're so codependent on this person and their love and their passion and you're finding it hard to leave. But ultimately, there's only one correct answer, a painful one that you ultimately have to leave. So you will leave without a doubt. But guess what? 
you'll live at a time where you are given the greatest gift of all. This gift is going to give you a, a, the greatest, wonderful, incredible love. So love is coming. But also, this gift is giving you money. Money. And I'll talk about this money in a moment. As you can see, I'll just put this together. Love is destined without a doubt. You can see that love. The Ace of Cups is about the greatest love of all. So love to the greatest um, level and two of uh, cups uh, soulmate and beautiful love amazing love gorgeous love here so love is destined without a doubt okay we know that love is going to be there for you 100 percent. but what's important for you to know is that money is coming at a time where you are stuck and you want to go but you're finding it hard to go. So what's going to help you go? Money. It looks like there could be a situation where maybe um, the, how, like the, the, the house you're in or the, the, the foundation needs for you to sort of like sell something. I feel like a, a lot of money is coming. That's why they keep showing a lot of money. Again, we saw a double of this. Money, big money is coming to release you. You're being released. You're able to walk away and buy your own thing and live the life of luxury that you deserve and want. So perhaps there's a home and you can't divide the home. Maybe you, you've invested both so much and it's not the right time to sell. So you're waiting to have money to buy another property or to move to a better place. Either way, the gift from the heavens is coming and you're relocating and going to a, lot of, uh, to a great place. And there's a lot of money helping you get there. Money seems to be... The main reason that you're not able to move, to relocate. And I feel like once this money comes, you're able to move uh, without hesitation. And big money is coming. It's destined for you. Incredible. I was trying to understand why these, this money is coming in this situation. And, and then finally I realized it, that some of you could be stuck and not able to go somewhere. Not able to sell the house maybe. It's not the right time to sell. Maybe... Um, uh, by selling the house you could be losing or you won't be able to buy two different homes so I feel like money is going to resolve this once and for all and you'll see this is so direct and to the point and whenever the heavens uh, direct uh, they, they show me things um, so that can be 100% it's when they double up everything like 11-11 it's the same thing now my dear viewers uh, we were talking about this let's have a look at this soul uh, soulmate and see what the soulmate is all about so it shows to me right after uh, a lot of conflict and a lot of debate and a lot of uh, unhappiness and quarrels, it's going to come to an end. There's only one challenge left and then it's over. Once this is over, you're leaving. Once you leave, you're meeting the soulmate. You are going to be empowered to overcome this and then you're starting fresh. Starting fresh with someone new, and the lovers, a new beginning that's going to be very prosperous. Why? Because you've got the soulmate. So it's not just anybody. It's a soulmate that's coming in the arena of your life. With the lovers, the soulmate, it just shows that you are going to be thriving with this person. And it's going to be uh, magnificent when you are together. So, wow. Soulmate and a new beginning that's going to bring you abundance of happiness. Happiness and joy, actually. Not just happiness, but joy. So that's that one for you. Okay. And finally... Let's have a look at this uh, inheritance money that's coming. Is that why is this being shown here? What is the Four of Pentacles all about? That's the only way for you to be able to buy your home, the purchase of real estate and having your dream home and emotional fulfillment to the highest level. So the truth of the matter is that, um, wow, this is just incredible. The truth is that um, for you to be happy is you need your own place, your own situation and money is going to be the coming the cause of this money talking about money we're talking about this area energy aquarius gemini libra it's truth someone logical someone that is going to be perhaps leaving you an inheritance an air energy possibly uh, it could be a libra or gemini because we're libra gemini here but i also feel this could be in regard to libra and gemini but we're talking about happiness and having your dream home or dream life so the money is coming uh, as a consequence for you to have your dream home and dream life right after a separation a beautiful new beginning comes and someone wonderful is coming and not to mention one of your wishes is going to be established so that's the end of your reading and that was magnificent i hope you enjoyed this reading my dear viewers that's why we've got here tiny victories
tiny victories coming. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Do give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think, my dear viewers. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. It's absolutely free and it does support me big time. Another form of support is to watch these videos all the way to the end. It helps me big time as I make them a bit long. And technical issues, I, pref I really do need your support. And um, it will help me a lot if you just watch them to the end without stopping them. That means a lot to me. I wish you abundance of blessings. I can't wait to hear your comments. I love reading your comments. And I wish you a lot of love and light. Namaste.